Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a big day. Once to Watch is here. It is the first full day of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, the full release of the game. Everybody has the game that can want to get it. It is out to everybody. No more pre-order stuff, no more Champions, Ultimate, whatever edition. It's all here. Everybody's on the game. And these cards are going in packs today. I wanna to talk about the content we're gonna see today, SBC objective-wise packs that could come out today and all of the once to watch related content that we could see alongside of the market movements that could accompany this big day on fifa ultimate team so just to start this off ea did tweet this out today this is the full ones to watch squad that's going to be in packs today these are all the 11 players that are going to be in just 11 nobody else they said in the tweet check out the full team one available in foot 21 friday on october Ninth. So this is it. This this is the whole team of once to watch players. Only 11 of them are going to be out in the game today. Impacts is what it seems from EA Sports. So again, pretty, pretty awesome player selection for here uh, for a one team promo. But there's also some guys that were left out that were confirmed like Tiago was confirmed on the website earlier. And there's going to be Havertz was confirmed as well. Um, so that, those guys are going to be inside too. And that's something we have to consider for a lot of people today that have the guaranteed ones to watch packs from the pre-order. So I want to talk about that here for a second. Is this ones to watch pack, right? I'm going to be getting one of these today. A lot of you guys are as well. If you ordered the ultimate edition before a certain time frame, you're going to be getting these packs. If you open it this week, you get ones to watch team one only. We've been over this, right? But especially after seeing team one, I think it might be worth your risk if you want one of these players in behind my camera, you can't see is Alex Tellez from United. But I think I'm going to take the risk today because I really want Bale or Werner or, you know, Suarez would be sick. Even Allen would be sick. Alex Tellez would be sick. So I'm going to be opening my wants to watch pack, I think, today because they should be coming out today. That's one of the things we should be seeing. I know it says that the pack will be available um, on October 9th. So that is when we should receive this pack today. That's like the only one pack that we're guaranteed, guaranteed today um, to come out. So I'm going to be opening that pack today, I think. I'm going to take the risk. Let me know what you guys are going to do. Uh, if you're going to save for the one and two teams after October 21st, but I'm just going to open it right away and get that card because I like my shot. One out of an 11 chance for a Gareth Bale, and I will take that, right? Because I want the man Gareth Bale in my squad. Anyways, that's the first thing I want to talk about today. Second thing is... Going into foot, what type of content could we see today, right? Objective-wise and SBC-wise. First things first, we are due an SBC from EA Sports based off the player vote that we had earlier this week. Between David Silva and Thiago Silva, there are two. there is one SBC that should come out for either of those two players. I think that comes out today. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that SBC would come out today um, as a once-to-watch player vote the winner getting an SBC. I hope David Silva wins just because I feel like he might get more informs than a center back Tiago Silva would, but we'll see. Then of course, other SBCs we could see today, player of the month. Maybe La Liga player of the month, Ansu Fadi possibly, maybe Premier League player of the month, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Jamie Vardy, Hyunmin Son, whoever it's going to be. Those two SBCs could possibly come out today. I would expect just one of them, but maybe both. I wondered about the Prem Player of the Month because if Dominic Calvert-Lewin does win, he's on international break. And sometimes before in the past, they haven't released Player of the Month because of players being out on international break. So that's just something to think about. Not sure if they're going to release it today or what they're going to do or whatever, but that is just something to keep in mind as an SBC we could see today because both of those could see massive market movements if we get an Ansu Fadi or if we get a Dominic Calvert-Lewin SBC out today. I would also expect a pack supply SBC to come out today. Um, that's just something that EA has done in the past year or two with the promos, and I expect that to happen today as well. Probably not a huge pack, but something decent uh, inside of the SBC section just to give people a pack to get. So objective-wise, I would not be surprised if we have one or two objectives today. One player objective, I would expect almost, and then possibly a maybe a kit objective or you know something else. We keep getting these kit SBCs and kit objectives. Maybe they'll do something related to a ones to watch objective as well, or um, for a a kit or for something maybe like a stadium theme. I don't know what they're gonna do with objectives this year with all this, but I would expect to see a couple objectives related to ones to watch coming out today with one of those being a player objective, I would expect it. So be ready for that as well. If you're a objective grinder, expect that. And then pack wise, some people were asking me about promo packs and lightning rounds. 
don't get too ahead of yourself. EA is not going to be putting out lightning rounds and a lot of big promo packs this early in the game. I think, and I'm pretty sure that we're just going to have the 7.5s and the 5k packs available. They might do like 15k packs. I don't know if they're going to do that. Like a, you can open 10, 15 Ks. That might be something they do today. But I honestly think that we don't get a lot of special packs until like the ultimate screen promo. And we for sure haven't gotten lighting rounds in the past until Black Friday. So unless they're going to change that this year, that's what I would expect for today is to not really get a lot of the special packs. Just having the 7.5 Ks uh, in the store for people to rip open if they do want to spend some FIFA points on packs. So that's kind of the content that I'm expecting. There's some other packs though some other stuff that could be coming out today as well in relation to the deadline day right this is something that ea put out last week that i don't even think we were sure was going to be happening but it's part of the lead up to ones to watch is the deadline day uh items right deadline day items it says pick up some of the biggest signings of the summer and get a guaranteed tradable team of the week player time remaining one day five hours so this is actually going to take us until um five hours what this is a really weird time countdown this is not going to take us until it's like late night friday actually into saturday uh with this time frame so i'm not sure if this content is going to come at 6 p.m today um but the deadline day pack is what i wanted to talk about that pack is going to contain loan ones to watch players and an untradeable team of the week player pick this could be interesting for the market because some of these team of the week cards that are in team of the week two, not team of the week one, team of the week two, we have a solid team of the week. So you could save your team of the week card if if you play FIFA before 1159 Pacific on October 9th, which is going to be a lot of us that get on the game. You're going to be able to get one of these untradeable team of the week player packs. So if you open it this week, you're going to get one of these cards in your club. It's not a loan. It's a legit untradeable team of the week card. So be prepared to get one of the guys on the bench. But you know the drill. You have a chance at Holland, Kane, St. Maximin, Hernandez, Lewandowski. Decent, right, pretty decent, right? That could affect the market a little bit because some people might pack a card untradeable and it might cause a little bit of selling for some of these tradable cards. Um, but we're kind of waiting on what time this is actually going to come out um, to know when this is going to affect the market. So that is kind of interesting. I guess I think that 1159 uh, is going to be in five hours from now. So this is going to come out actually at 3 a.m. my time, which would be 9 a.m. on October 10th. So I'm guessing that's like when the deadline is. So 9 a.m. on October 10th is I think what this countdown goes till. Uh, and that would mean that maybe this stuff would come out on Saturday as Saturday's content. We'll find out more about that tomorrow, hopefully. But I wanted to talk about that. And I also wanted to talk about the foot preseason rewards because these might be made available today as well. It says they're going to be granted by October 16th but I think they might grant them. They've been granting stuff like kind of early and on time. So hopefully this means this could be coming out today as well. Your 80 plus midfielder packs, 80 plus defender and attacker packs, and some of those other SBC or, um, you know, kits and other stuff like that, that we did it during the preseason promo in FIFA 20, that content that was, you know, stuff towards FIFA 21. Hopefully we'll get that pretty soon here as well. Hopefully today even, that'd be dope if we saw all this stuff come out. So that's kind of the content that I'm expecting today is honestly, uh, oh, if you did pre-order the, the standard edition, this was something that kind of relates to the market that we didn't talk about before. Just like the ultimate and champions edition got the rare gold packs on Tuesday, a lot of people that pre-ordered the standard edition are now opening up their rare gold packs that they got. They get three of them. So they're gonna get one of those on the first day when they open up uh, FIFA 21. So that's gonna be some extra packs and supply on the market that we didn't account for and didn't talk to about before. Um, and this kind of leads me into uh, what I wanna talk about with the market. But those first things, that's kind of all the content, right? Foot preseason rewards, the ones to watch pre-order pack, these cards that are in packs and a couple of SBCs and an objective. That's what I expect for the actual content today on FIFA 21 inside of the game. Now let's move to the market side of things, right? We mentioned that pack, the pre-order, not the pre-order packs, but the, um, the, yeah, the pre-order packs for the people that got the standard edition. If you look at the market, right? The index gold, we've had a lot of dropping over the past couple days. A lot of us lost coins trying to make coins with division rivals. We were taking a chance. The market did rebound a little bit yesterday after rivals rewards, but it wasn't much and it kept dropping yesterday, Thursday night into Friday morning. And the market is now bouncing back. A lot of meta cards 
reached a really low point. People saw that it got low, myself included, and they went in and started buying some of these players. Now, does this mean the market's going to continually go up for the rest of the day today on Friday? I think no. There's going to be a lot of market movements and a lot of fluctuation on a lot of cards today because people are getting on the game for the first time and there's a lot of packs that are being opened. That's the biggest thing that I want to kind of point out today is a lot of the players that actually people were investing in today, there were some uh, price range updates as well that I need to speak about. But if you're trying to buy meta cards, you know, high rated metas, Fabinho, Gomez, Sancho, Insigne, Usman Dembele, I mean, Alaba, I would, I would include in this, in this, um, in that as well. Just high rated players that are very meta that people want for their squads on this footbin popular page is the best place to go to look for these, you know, uh, somebody like Yunmin Min Sun, 285,000 coins. These guys are fluctuating all, like up and down right now on the market. If you look at some of these prices um, that we are eyeing right now, somebody like, where, who was my example from earlier? There was one by, There was one card I was looking at earlier that was a perfect example of this. And I think it was, it might've been a bomb Yang. No, it wasn't. A, it was De Young. Let's look at De Young because De Young's card was like 90,000 coins earlier this week, right? 92K. And Thursday night, check out this drop off, 88,000 coins, dropped down to 79, 80,000 coins. And then he started rising up into the morning this morning, early AM time UK. And a lot of these cards have kind of rebounded up a little bit from where they were in that panic selling late Thursday night. I would expect the market to continue to fluctuate on a lot of these cards because you can see they're kind of going up and down with the pack supply. Pogba, Pogba was 200,000 coins. He went back up to like 215, almost 220, and now he's back down at 200. So even if you feel like I'm already broke, I've already spent a lot of coins on these cards that are, I'm, I'm expecting to rise over the next couple of days as more people get on the game and upgrade their squads and all those coins supply it turns into demand for players. Don't feel like you missed the boat just yet. There's going to be still fluctuations that happen today on the market with these gold cards. There could be a little bit of panic selling into the morning into the 6 p.m uk drop time for the content so keep your eyes on some of that if you're wanting to buy players but meta players high rated um very overpowered and popular players that's why i'm looking at this popular page on footbin players drop down popular just notice which players people are searching up and want to be using in their teams those are the players that you want to invest in because that's the players that other people want to buy making their price go up and again if you're making investments today right if you're buying gold players this is the kind of graph and this is the kind of investment that we're looking to be buying. And this is kind of like the, the time frame of when you want to sell it as well. Davinson Sanchez, right? Center backs in the prem, very, very sought after. And there's not a lot of very OP players in that scenario, in that kind of niche on the market. Davinson Sanchez with 39,000 coins last year went down to 37K. And it was, I remember him being in the 35,000 coin range last year on that Thursday night into Friday. Kind of the same thing happened last year with the market. And then look what happens after this. People get coins, they wanna buy the meta cards, the popular cards, the, the beast cards, OP cards in game. He goes from 37,000 coins on that Friday all the way up to 49,000 coins. Same thing happened with Abomyang, another very high tier player. Hits 400,000 coins in early access, drops down to 350 and then rebounds over the next week back up to 400,000 coins. So these investments that we are making right now is kind of like a buy, hold it for a week. Honestly, if you want to buy a team full of meta players, if you're on like a 1 million coin budget, you want to buy dudes like Gomez, like Sancho, Fabinho, if you're trying to make some sort of squad, this is the decent time to do it. If you want to buy a dude like Messi, Ronaldo, uh, Neymar, Mbappe, those guys even went down in price today. I would expect those to continue rising over the next couple of weeks. This is kind of like a meta player buy time, like a dip before it goes back up with all the new coin supply. So that's why I made some of these investments today. I'm a little bit, you know, not scared, but just mindful of all the pack supply that's going to come out today. I think what it's really going to do is players that are kind of in that mid range of, you know, kind of hyped, but not really, you know, maybe their hype is kind of past and they're not really meta and it's just the hype is there, but it's, it's, it's not insane hype, right? Emre Chan is a great example of this for me. This dude was like, you know, almost 20,000 coins during early access, 82 rated card. He's about 8,000 coins right now under 8K. This is a type of card that I would expect to get a lot of pack supply just because I feel like his hype has, has ended. 
and he's probably going to continue dropping down. He might go up a little bit after, you know, this this Friday. He might drop, he might bounce up a little bit, but I honestly would expect him to continue going downwards in price over the next week, kind of like time frame we've invested in the meta cards, like the Abami and Dominson Sanchez that I showed you. These cards I would expect to go up, but a guy like that, Chan, maybe players like Coutinho, um, I would expect them to actually go down because people would want to use a better card instead of that version of that player, the lower rated cards, especially if it's under 80 rated. Be very, very careful with guys like Tamori today. You know, I know he's a very meta, very good looking card, and he's around 3,000 coins. But with all the packs that are going to be open today, I would be very surprised. He's actually bounced up a decent amount. I'd be very surprised if this guy stays in the 4,000 coin range. I would expect him to be cut in half with all the packs that are open. Seriously, tons and tons of packs are open today, and that's really going to just burn down the low rated cards on this game they're really going to get hit with tons of supply and that's going to hurt them a lot one thing you could look forward to today is team of the week cards right alan st maximin a very popular team of the week card that is in team of the week two his price is fluctuating around a lot of decent amount right now and he's kind of down but i expect all these team of the week two cards to be at their lowest probably sometime today on friday with just all of the packs that are going to be opened that was the trend or last year. And I really hope that that guaranteed team of the week pack for the untradeable one comes out pretty soon because that's gonna, when we that pack comes out, we're gonna know like, hey, all right, that pack has passed us and the, all the supply has happened. And a lot of these informs will probably rise kind of like we saw with Dominson, right? We In that next week, a lot of these informs are probably gonna rise in that time frame as people buy these cards, put them in their team. You know, St. Maximin, Lewandowski, Renato Sanchez, Teo Hernandez, maybe even Ali Watkins down here on the bench. A lot of these OP players from Team of the Week 2, Holland as well, I would maybe start to look, if there's a big drop on these cards today, maybe a nice chunk of price that they drop off, maybe like 10%, maybe, I would definitely look at investing in these dudes because I think that they will start to rebound after this because there's not very many cards in the game that have dynamic images, that have cool card designs. People like that. This is a card collecting that's the card collecting desire of people that play foot. They want the cool looking cards for their squads, right? And the upgraded statistics. So just kind of be wary of that today. If you want to invest in some team of the week, two cards, that could be a possibility and something that you could do today on the market. So it's going to be a busy day of foot. Seriously, a lot of stuff going on. The market's going to be crazy. The content's probably going to be very good. EA well last year in fifa 20 with the ones to watch promo i'd expect them to do just as well or even better this year in fifa 21 let's hope it's hyped good luck with your untradeable ones to watch packs if you do if you do end up opening those and good luck with some of your investments as well if you do take a hold on some of those we'll be following these cards as they rise up and all the stuff that happens on saturday uh well today what happens today we'll be following that on saturday and sunday and throughout the rest of the next week as the otw promo continues on so that's all that i have to talk about today it's going to be a hype day of foot a lot of stuff going on a lot of market movements of course if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace